So, Sharon, would you please start? Mm -hmm. Good afternoon. I'm Sharon Little coming to you from Rodney, Ontario, in Canada. And the quality I bring is quiet determination. And then um, I'll welcome Sharon. Uh, Alexander. I'm Alexander Lichuk and joining from Brooklyn, New York, the United States. And the Scorpio quality that resonates for me now is persistence. No matter how many times we fall, what does matter how many times we rise? Welcome. And welcome to Daniela. Hello, greetings everyone. I'm calling you from Brussels, Belgium. And the quality I am calling in, or yes, calling in is the quality of the light of love. And welcome, Andrea. The quality I will add is love. Now, where are, we, where are you coming, calling from? I am calling from New York City today, like you. Well, welcome. <laughs> and uh, welcome, Brad. Hi, I'm calling from upstate New York. And the quality is regenerative striving. And um, thank you and welcome, Fred. Calling from South Florida and the determination to triumph. Thank you. And welcome, Jillian. Hello, uh, Jillian Douglas from Norfolk, UK. And my word is transformation. Thank you. And welcome, Helen. Thank you. I'm calling from England, near, near London. I'm offering joy and joyfulness. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome, Jim. Hello, Jim Clark. I'm calling from Merida, Yucatan, Mexico. And I am bringing disattachment. Thank you. And uh, welcome, Kira. Judy. Uh, hello, this is Judy Harrison from uh, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, United States. Uh, I bring in the reorientation of Scorpio. Thank you. And welcome, Kira. Oh, I thought I went already. I'm sorry. I just uh, a little bit messed up. Apologize. I said reorientation from South Florida. Oh, I thought it was Judy. Okay. Well, if I miss something, I apologize. Uh, welcome, Natalie. We had a problem with the mm. microphone. Natalie mm. joining us from New Zealand. Mm. Okay. Well, 
welcome. And uh, welcome, Ruth. Hello, everyone. I'm Ruth in Corvallis, Oregon. And what comes to me is strength and movement in moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. And welcome, Tina. Hello, Tina Hutchings from Castle Rock, Colorado, USA. And I'm working with Harmony, continuous striving towards Harmony. Thank you. Um, and um, I guess uh, I'm the last one. So Katja Kaufman calling from New York. And the quality is will to transform. We'll have just a moment's silence to breathe that in. Our group vision quest is an experiment invoking the vision of the unfolding plan for humanity. Each of us perceives a part of the wider vision and thereby contributes to the seeding of the divine plan. We see ourselves gathering in this circle. Projecting the love of our hearts and the light of our minds from our localities into our group chalice. United by the will to good, we come as one group.
we polarize on the group mental plane. Using the power of creative imagination, we visualize the group rainbow bridge. As an act of will, we lift off Vaya and Takkarana, orienting towards the spiritual triad. We tune in with the quality of Scorpio. We actualize the quality words that each of us offered into the group chalice. Take your theme word under consideration and ponder deeply upon it. Endeavor to extract its quality and life, thus lifting it and your thought to as high plain as possible. We will hold silence for five to seven minutes.
English sound home and waits in silence, holding the mind steady. This is the pause of reception. As you receive impressions, express those in your own words, expressing them as the highest truth of the quality word under consideration. Relate this theme under your consideration to the present world opportunity, thus universalizing the concept, seeing its relationship to world affairs, its usefulness and spiritual value to humanity as a whole. I down your impressions.
inwardly sound OM with intent to refocus on the mental plane. Now we enter the stage, the analyzer of ideas. Choose an idea that your theme word evoked. Study this idea in connection with yourself, the disciple, active in service and the master's work but not in connection with your personality. Seek to make the idea practical, enabling it to qualify you and enrich you. silently sound another OM with the intent of making the sensed idea a part of your very nature.
And now we enter the next stage, the transmitter of ideas. Remember that as a disciple, you have realized that the knowledge of truth and the reception of ideas lays on you the responsibility to be a transmitter to others. So as we hold our group chalice open, let us, let us take turns expressing ideas into the group circle, thus giving them mental and audibly verbal function, quality gathering our group impressions in our group vision quest. Sharon, can you give us a note of the fork? Please. <laughs> As we share, let us continue holding the meditative attitude. And as you move to share, please unmute yourself and let it allow some silence after each sharing. Uh, hello, uh, what came through for me is that we stand as humanity in the light of soul and reorient to our shared unity, moving from individual into group identification. And that uh, this brings us into brotherhood through recognition of our shared light. And as a disciple, I reorient to identification in triadal consciousness, merging the three lights and bringing this through to a new synthesis for humanity. Um, I have put, it is time for humanity to realize that it holds the key to bringing about the changes needed on earth and to wait for higher beings to do it for them is not an option. Humanity can heal the world if it has the will to do so. 
People must trust themselves and realize and utilize the powers they have for good. Thank you. I had a sense of joy and ease at being nearer the Christ and sensing that joy and ease of being with anyone and everyone and being able to sense that Christ energy. within anyone and everyone. So what came to me was the light of the well, allowing to look in the depths, not what is, release it, and create a new form, new path, new step. Hi. Um, so I was thinking about vibration and um, how we can raise the vibration more, more than just sending light. You know, we send light and we raise vibration through sending light, but we need to raise vibration more and higher. And how can we do that and raise humanity's vibration? Maybe without them even realizing that their vibration is being raised through sound, um, music, um, I don't know. I feel like there's an urgency here. Um, you know, is there a, a, another way, you know, we can increase the vibration?
quality that I was reflecting on was uh, persistence. And seeing how that quality plays out for humanity as a disciple, it's, um, so we go through our experiences of going up and down, making mistakes, falling and raising up again. have to learn how to learn, learn how to learn on our mistakes and recognize what each experience teaches us. And take every failure, every mistake as an opportunity to learn and therefore advance. The quality I offered was quiet determination. And it seems that I, we need that, that we need to speak of ourselves, that what, what we individually are asking to be done. That doesn't make sense. Um, I need to be determined and practice and recognize the seed of possibility and look honestly when I fail and keep a, an attitude of aspiration towards becoming more compassionate to developing the mental body and to be able to think clearly uh, in a focused way so that when I think and when I have thoughts which radiate out they are as clear and unmuddled as possible because unless I individually and each of us individually do that um, I can easily release responsibility and figure it's some it's another thing that that we have to do collectively that separates it from what I need to do individually to serve the group in the larger purpose.
the quality. Go ahead. Ruth, please share. Sorry. The qualities I was working with were about movement and going forward. And what came to me was the stillness in the movement. It was like the I in the we. And that there's an awareness for humanity, a strength and a consistency, a steadiness, a, a willingness to come into uh, some respectable form, a, a willingness of caring for each other and for all of humanity that giving and taking are one. That we come into our sameness and our I and we coming together. The thought that I brought in at the beginning was disattachment. Many of us every day are working with the mantra of uni unification at least once. And in there, let the soul control the outer form and life and all events. Now, for me personally, I either do or I don't. I mean, learning how to discern where, I, where my job begins and ends. In other words, that's just, and that's on a personal level. I have great difficulty with my lower mind. And so when things come up, I look at that and I say, step back, disattach, give it some space. And then I also have a feeling in my heart that when the time comes, I'll know. And not only will I, will I know, but I'll probably have a good idea of what to do. So it's a, it's a disattachment. And I'm speaking about the, you know, the, the personal, about my personal soul. But now we all know we have all different kinds of soul related energetics at play until we get all the way up to the soul of the planet and the plan and what lies ahead. And so I think it's incumbent, at least upon me, if I'm going to be of any service, is to stay out of the way until I have some sort of a heartfelt something that will, that will tell me how, when, and where I should move.
I was working with continuous striving towards harmony. Uh, we first seek harmony within our own nature. We harmonize within a group. We learn the art of silence in that harmony, in that continuous striving towards harmony. And in silence, we harmonize with the sound, with the sound of our solar angel, with our master, our ashram. We can harmonize with the sound of hierarchy. Hierarchy is described as having one soul. So that concept of harmonizing with something greater is a continuous striving process. We strive to harmonize with the will of Shambhala, with the sound of Shambhala. Each aspect of that harmonization, we are becoming more in harmony with the energies that are planetary and extraplanetary, receiving them, expressing them, transmitting them to all kingdoms of nature. And in that perfect harmony, as the human kingdom is capable of becoming, we are the co-creators on earth, creating that perfect harmony between nature obeying and harmonizing with the laws of the universe. And in that balance, we create justice for all, joy for all, and we're working towards a common good for all. If anyone want to share more, please do it now. So let us bring us, let bring all our impressions together in a group chalice. And I invite Daniela to bring the poetry of our sharings together in one synthetic summary, preparing for us to magnetize our group sharing and radiate it towards humanity. So this is the...
summary of what we shared. We stand as humanity in the light of the soul, realizing that we hold the key to bring change to the world, sensing Christ energy within anyone and everyone. We release everything else and create a new path, voicing a sound that increases vibration. And we learn, we learn to take mis to take mistakes as opportunity to advance. And thus we serve the group in its larger purpose. We come together. We know the time is right to be co-creators attuned to the self of the universe. We visualize the radiance of our group chalice. Dedicating our service to one humanity. The souls of all are one, and we are one with them. We seek to love, not hate. We seek to serve and not exact you service. We seek to heal, not hurt. Let pain bring you rewards of light and love. Let the soul control the outer form and life and all events and bring to light the love that underlies the happenings of the time. Let the vision come and insight. Let the future stand revealed. Let inner union demonstrate and our cleverage is begun. Let love prevail. Let all people love.
from the point of light within the mind of God, let light stream forth into human minds. Let light descend on earth. From the point of love within the heart of God, let love stream forth into human hearts. May Christ return to earth. From the center where the will of God is known, let purpose guide the all human wills, purpose which the masters know and serve. From the center which we call the human race, let the plan of love and light work out and may it seal the door where evil dwells. Let light and love and power restore the plan on earth. Oh. Oh. Thank you, friends, and as we come to a close for today, uh, we invite you to, if you'd like to come on screen, I'm going to put my video on so you can see the tuning forks I'm using, and just have a, have a hello and a, and a heart connection to everyone. So Sasha, if you'll stop the share, we can all see each other. I invite you to close your eyes or open your eyes, whatever you will, and as we um, blow out our candles and do the final tuning. Thank you all. We'll see you next month. 
will be closing the gates. Mm-hmm.